right at the entranceway. Wow, could you imagine? Talk about greeting people. Woo! <laughs> Not a bad setup. The deck was added and then did a island. <laughs> I love it. Wow, look at that. An island patio. They're actually some nice looking fish. 94. These look like they're pretty new setups here. Wow, I'll get some nice fish in there too. There's one koi in there that's a butterfly koi. What a beautiful waterfalls. Wow. Oh man, there's a fat koi down there. That guy's blind and that guy's fat. Some big fish in here too, right in the fall, but I like it. Yeah, a little green frog. Very tame. Okay, see if you can get him. Oh, you missed him. So we got two water features here, huh? This was the first original one we built, like a 26 foot boneless. A couple years later, he enjoyed it so much, he wanted something out the back door. So typical, water people are waterholics. They want multiple water features. I'm Greg Witzak the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzak the Pond Guy. I'm traveling with Noah and Matt around Northern Virginia, looking at beautiful aquascape water features, including this pondless waterfall right at the entranceway. Wow, could you imagine? Talk about greeting people. Woo! <laughs> Everybody that comes to this front door, you got to walk across a little stone bridge to get there. Not a bad setup. So we came in, we cut out the part of the walkway here. Yep. Here recently, he just upgraded to an aquascape color changing lights. Okay, yeah. That's gorgeous. So it just recirculates. It's a pondless waterfall. Basically, all the components for an aquascape pondless system. This one is sized with a 9 PL pump, two spillways. The cost for this system is about fifteen thousand dollars. So for all these, the stonework, the liner, the underlayment, the mechanical filter over here, the spillway bowls up there, a fifteen thousand dollar investment, and there's nothing that you could put in the front yard that will make as big of a curb peel and an impact as a decorative water feature. Very nice. And then we got one in the backyard too, huh? Okay, so it started with the front, but it ended up in the back, huh? Yeah, so this was a phone call we got uh, a couple of years later. Said uh, I have some grand ideas. You want to put a deck in. The deck was added and then did a island. <laughs> I love it. Wow, look at that. Definitely going to be my thumbnail, an island patio. Hey, you're living the aquascape lifestyle out here. An island patio, I would say so. I'm the pond guy, Greg Whitstock. Hi, Greg. Good to meet you. Aaron and Liz. So whose idea was it? Uh, it was mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. I like this guy. You started with the front yard water feature. Yep, about eight, six, seven years ago. Okay. What do people say that come to your yard for the first time? Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your master bedroom up there? Uh, actually, yeah. right. So you still get to look down at this as your backdrop. Yes. This is really sweet. I really love this design. Good work, young man. Thank you. So on this pond right here, this is kind of a custom design and shape. Started with just an idea of like have a patio and how we're gonna wrap water or bring water in and around it. So I came up with the idea to basically create a moat all the way around. We almost have full, you know, surrounded with water. So that comes over and around. We have two biofalls that filter the pond up here. We have two Aquascape 5000 pumps that are supplying all the flow rate of the pond. Incredible amount of shale on this project. It was very difficult. And then we ended up getting to a point of trying to reach and place boulders because the patio was in place first and then trying to work in and around it. Overall, it turned out pretty cool. It was a really neat project for a really great client. We had roughly about 60,000 pounds of rock with all the components and everything included. A project like this would be about $30,000. So we've got some koi that are underneath the bridge right now, but what did you say you did with the babies? <laughs> they came inside for the winter. They spawned late. So. Oh my gosh. So you're into this too. It might have been his idea, but you're into this. Oh, I'm an animal lover. So the fish and snails get babies. So how did you catch them? Noah oh my gosh. Are you? Oh, look at this. So I know this, this is awesome. It's overcrowded. We're cleaning this one. So you got some apple snails. Those are your uh, Japanese trapdoor snails. Oh my goodness. And you can see they had babies too. There are about 60 babies in there right now. That I oh, I see them. Yeah. They're actually some nice looking fish. These were born when? Late July, early August. Wow, they're big already. Yeah, they, some of them. Wow, look at how active they are. 
Holy cow, so you're gonna grow them out in here and then put them back in the pond well, next spring? Well, we're going in the pond, but we're gonna have to find homes for spawn. I don't think the pond can support 90 koi. These look like they're pretty new setups here. Yes, they are new. He's been putting together tanks and aquarium stands for the past couple weeks, weeks yeah. whenever he gets up for <laughs> I love this. This is fantastic. And this is a hobbyist right here. So you've been bit by the, the animal bug, huh? Yeah. So you enjoy the fish. Yeah, once they had babies, it was all over. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so the truth comes out. It started off as his hobby, but now it's become her. Anybody that's gonna go out and drain their pond to catch the babies and let them grow out in an aquarium, that's somebody that's into this hobby. And that's what I love to see. I love to see homeowners enjoying living the aquascape lifestyle, the fire pits, the outdoor furniture, the pergola, the waterfalls, and they're already talking about making it bigger so they can get a bigger home for their fish. This is the uh, yard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there's the rocks right there. Yep, yeah. rocks for projects coming up. Hey, I like the van. It reminds me of uh, Scooby-Doo. I love it. Noah knows water. I love it. You know water, huh, Noah? That's it. <laughs> that is cool. So we're getting a net and a blower because of all the rain, huh? So we are in the Shenandoah National Forest? Yep, up on uh, Skyline National Drive. Just right before the peak of the fall colors. Yeah, everything's starting to change. Well, we tried to come up and see the views, <laughs> but it has been so much rain, we just got fog to look at. Oh well, beautiful area. All right, back to see another pond. So Noah, where are we at? We're here in Winchester, on the outside of Winchester. Okay, we just met the homeowner, Kim, and you said that you've been doing ponding for how long? 24 years. Nice. Since 1996, I started with a 250 gallon preform for waterfall lighting. Really uh, caught the bug. Actually, my property is a certified wildlife. Okay, sure. So, yeah, it looks beautiful. I mean, a beautiful property. You got a pool. When did you get this young man to come in and build it for you? Well, actually, I had a pond built 14 years ago when I bought this home. Okay. I was the only guy in the area at the time, and it lasted for some time. Uh huh. I just realized that. There were better ponds. Sure. So Noah and his dad and his crew came in and tore out all the old ponds, lowered boulders, designed the thing. <laughs> Yep. It's my little world. I run my pond year round. Yeah. I put trough heaters in it. I have gloves that come up to here, waders that come up to here. Yeah, you get into it. I'm in it. Literally. In so this is what retirement looks like. Okay, I got to see this. Where is this? Is it over by the pool? Down here. All right. Okay, right here. Just a cute little pond right next to the pool. Wow, I'll get some nice fish in there too. There's one koi in there that's a butterfly koi. The big orange one with the white middle. Yeah, the kohaku. Yeah, he's just a regular. What a beautiful waterfalls. Wow. I yeah, love that right. stone. Work. When Noah put the pond in, the bottom level was not a third waterfall level. It just went down into rocks and flowed into the pond. But wow, this is fantastic. I mean, those are about as big a fish as you can fit in. The, you're going to need a bigger pond, buddy. All the way out to here. I mean, you got a beautiful pool. What a nice area. I love all of the totally sheltered from the road back there. Look at these two frame rocks right here, just coming down beautiful. And then you got the slate work underneath it. You really can't see it until you go at nighttime, but you can. Kind of look at the slate work. All the little stacked up rocks in there. The biofalls goes down here, recirculates. And even with these big fish, it keeps it pretty clear. Soften up the edges. What a beautiful sound this makes. It is a total enjoyment for you, huh? It is. Well, here, wait a minute. I'll show you the total enjoyment. All right. I'm curious on what this is going to be. You get your bathing suit? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a typical project like this, it's probably, you know, an 8 by 11 pond or so with a biofalls, a skimmer, rock, what would it be? Well, this shop right here is about 14,000. Wow. Hey, we got the music on. Nice. <laughs> nice. Every time he plays the music, huh? That's awesome. So this is the oldest breed you said of oldest Japanese hunting dog. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like my camera. <laughs> he doesn't like this close to his face, but he's really very friendly. Very 
He got the same smile. Yeah, right. He was running, he was running down Merriman's Lane, and my stepdaughter caught him five years ago. Aww. You know, when you got a giant uh, dinosaur place like this, oh, are you serious? You put that in? We built that a couple years ago. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. It looks so natural. <laughs> Dinosaur land, so typical. Pretty cool place though. If I was a kid, I'd want to go there. What town are we in? We were in Winchester. Okay, right in Winchester. This yep. is your sister's place, huh? Yep, sister's place. We built a pond about six years ago. Actually, a little bit longer than that. And obviously, she, it looks like she's got kids with the pool and stuff. Yep, that's why we did it. All Remember right. Kids could grow up with the frogs. And fish. I love it. Look at this cute little pond right here, right next to the driveway in the back of the house off this porch. Oh man, there's a fat koi down there, or a fat goldfish. Oh yeah, I got some koi, some goldfish, some fancy goldfish. Look at these guys. Yeah, because that guy's blind and yeah, that guy's fat. Yep. <laughs> blind goldfish and a fat goldfish. Some big fish in here too, right in the fall, but I like it. So is your sister home? I think she is. So this is just a little eight by 11 pond. And this is a very typical little goldfish pond, a couple of bigger koi in here that are probably getting a little bit big for this pond, but nice bio falls up on top, skimmer on the other side. A project like this is a one or two day project typically for a CAC, and this is very typical. What I love showing in this channel is all sorts of options. So you don't have to have a giant water feature to make a big impact in a yard. Something small like this where you can just listen to that sound, sit in the back patio, feed your fish. It's pretty nice. Hey, yes, you're happy, aren't you? Aw. <laughs> Aw. So a little 8 by 11 pond, Noah? Yep, 8 by 11 pond. <laughs> you want to play, don't you? <laughs> hey, look, your buddy's over there. Go see your buddy. Your buddy's waiting to see you. There you go. Your buddy's in jail. Hey there, sister. How you doing? Thanks for letting us come over and vlog. I'm the Pond Guy Greg. Nice to meet you. And what's your name? Corinne. Corinne and? Ashley. Ashley. So what's the story here, Mama? You've had this pond for six years? Oh, has it been that long? Actually, it has. be closer to eight. I have so, pictures of everybody, like when they were all little. Uh-huh. Like all the neighbors have girls too. Yes. So everyone would come over and we'd sit. It's oh, a really good God. thing with the neighborhood, right? Oh, yeah. It's been Fun. That's what we want it to be. We want it to be fun. So you're a family and this has been an enjoyable thing for the whole family, huh? Oh my goodness, yes. And watching the fish has been amazing. We've lost some fish and then we've had some baby fish just show up. Imagine that. So this is what happens. Have you guys learned this yet in school? How baby fish get born? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is your younger sister. Is this the one you were telling me about? Yes. This uh, is Chloe. So your mom was saying the younger one's harder than the older one. <laughs> and what's this guy's name? This Bella. is Bella. Oh, hi, Bella. She's how old? Nine. Oh, Nine. she's pretty active. You can take her home with you. <laughs> I don't think the girls would want that. So your friends come over. You guys got to feed the fish and stuff and hang out. Yeah. Good. And what about maintenance? People always ask about maintenance. You I mean you're a family? You got. You know, your hands full and everything. It's easy. Empty the skimmer when the leaves I, fall. I was gonna say, we empty the skimmer, put some good bacteria in there. That's about it. And algae in the summer, because the sun hits it just right. Mm -hmm. You can get an iron gen. So if you got a full sun pond like this with a lot of fish like you have, and it's gonna have clear water, you're gonna get string algae, which you can put an iron gen on and get rid of that, or you can just simply pull it out like a weed. Yep. So you love to catch the frogs. Oh, I see them right there. Yeah, so they love to live by the biofalls. Yeah, a little green frog, very tame. Okay, see if you can get them. Oh, you missed him. So do you enjoy catching the frogs? Yeah. So you like having a pond? Yeah. Awesome. So you don't have to have a big yard. You don't have to have a giant water feature to enjoy living the aquascape lifestyle. It's all about interaction with the family. It's about something to draw you outside. Nothing will draw you outside as much as a decorative water feature will because there's something for everybody, young and old, to enjoy with a water feature. If you too want to live the aquascape lifestyle, check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor by you. I love my job.